bottle here. Dale! <laughs> All right. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make ajo. Why you keep playing with your tits? You know what? Look, you want to fucking come over here and record this shit or what? Alright. Go. Whatever. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh shit, stop it. In a while since we the fuck was that? Two dicks? What? How was that two dicks? <laughs> Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make ajo con gandules. I already have one on my channel. My grandmother-in-law made it, but it is in Spanish and I have been requested to do it in English with measurements and everything. Today I will show you how to do that. Ajo con gandule is very, very famous around the holidays in a Puerto Rican household. Um, so yeah, let's get to the video. All right. All right, so what you're gonna need, you're gonna need about a cup of sofrito. And what sofrito basically is, is just red pepper, green pepper, onion, garlic, and cilantro all blended up together. Then you're gonna need some garlic, um, some garlic, some uh, bacon, and this is thick cut. And then you're gonna need some olives with a little bit of juice, some cut up red pepper, one whole red pepper. You're gonna take two cans of gan uh, gandules, one of them you're gonna keep the juice, the other one you are not. This is some cut up salted ham. You're gonna have some bay leaves, there are three of those. You're gonna need some sazon and some ham packets. And of course, you cannot do it without adobo. So let's go ahead and get started in the pan. All right, you're gonna start off with uh, about a tablespoon of oil and then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna put your bacon. I know bacon has a lot of fat in it, but I like my bacon really crunchy. So I go ahead and I cook the oil. And you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna cook that up until it's done. So this is probably gonna feed, the recipe that I'm giving you is probably gonna feed anywhere from about maybe eight to 10 people, depending on how greedy all of y'all are. All right, now that your bacon is almost done, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna add your ham. Now for the bacon, I did add a stick strip, so I added five strips. And then for the ham, you're probably gonna use about a handful, kind of like what I have here. All right, now that that is almost done, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna put your sofrito. Oh, your house is going to smell amazing. Go ahead and let that cook. While this is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add the bay leaves, the ham packet, two of them to be exact. Yeah. So. And let's start with two saffron packets. Man, that smells good. It does. All right, go ahead and add your olives. Add your olives. And then go ahead and add your red peppers. Red peppers are optional, isn't it? It is optional, but it gives a little bit more flavor. Because not a lot of people use red peppers. But we do. Alright, you're going to go ahead and let this simmer for a little bit. 
before we add anything else. Alright okay, guys, you're gonna go ahead and add your adobo. So you're gonna add about a tablespoon for now. And then you're gonna go ahead and add your gondolas. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do now is, the way you're gonna measure is I'm gonna take the can of gondolas that I use, which is the Goya brand, and you're gonna add three tins of water. All right, so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna let it simmer for a little bit, let it get to a boil. Then we're gonna come back, we're gonna taste the water and see what we have to add to it. All right guys, now that your rice is boiling, you're gonna go ahead and just take a There's taste. There's no rice in there. All right guys, now that your fucking water is boiling. Is that better? Much better. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna taste your water. I cannot emphasize on, on this enough. Your rice is going to come out the way your water tastes. So if you're not satisfied with the taste of the water, yeah, you ain't going to love the rice. So we're going to add one more tablespoon of adobo. Now the reason I don't add all the all of it in the beginning is because this is to your liking and your taste. My mom is not big on salt. Some people love a lot of flavor. It is all on you. Let me go ahead and lower it. So when we make it, we usually make it to the flavor of the people who are going to eat it. Yeah, so... It is all up to you. Um, honestly, the only thing you really got to watch out for is the adobo. Because the adobo is really salty. Everything else, go ahead and do normal. Alright, I'm going to add a little bit more sofrito. And then I'm going to add my one more packet of sazon. And then we should be good to go. Now the same way you measure the water is the same way you're going to measure your rice. You're going to do equal parts. And for dum dums like me, one cup of rice, one cup of water, equal parts. <laughs> All right, let me get the rice. All right, so now you're just gonna go ahead and you're going to mix it. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna cover this and you're going to leave it on number four, like a medium low for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then we will be right back to check on it. All right guys, here we are 20 minutes later. You're gonna take something that's preferably with a fork and you're going to go ahead and you're going to mix it all up. All right. So obviously it's not done, but you're going to go ahead. Um, let it sit on low for about another half hour. All right, guys, this is the finished product. All you gotta do is mix it. 